Hi, it's Mark Owen from Moose Monk, PI editor of Punchline Magazine, and welcome to Punchline Talks. Today I'm at Gloucestershire University in the Oxford campus, and with John Wilkinson, who is the director of the Great Western Partnership. Western Gateway Partnership. Yes, in Do you know what? I've only got that wrong three times. <laughs> John, really nice to meet you. Really interesting speech you just made, actually, about G First LEP and the demise. What's your thoughts on it, please, just moving forward? G First Left has been an absolutely fantastic partner for us at the Western Gateway. Um, probably heard in some of our, my, what I had to say today, some of the, the really key opportunities that there are for the Western Gateway economy as a whole are centred around some of the opportunities in Gloucestershire, it's like you know, Golden Valley Development, the projects at, at Seven Edge and the, the great news that we've heard in the past week around some of the government investment going in there. So um, they've been a fabulous partner and I think you know there's all to play for in Gloucestershire going forward. Now we've had lots of press release just hot off, well hot off the press actually, we had Barclay, Old Bree. I mean, now we've got the sort of tidal looking into tidal yeah. power as well. Yeah. I mean, my goodness, if we can wrap all that up, it's going to be brilliant. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, look, I, I, I've been doing this job now for about 15 months. I travel a lot around the Western Gateway area and I am bowled over every single week by the opportunities that there are here to, to drive forward the kind of UK sustainable economy, the economy of the future that we all want to see. I think the fact that we've got a collective group of political leaders, businesses, universities working together can only be good for our area. Um, I think you often, often hear more in the press about the Midlands engine and, and the Northern Powerhouse and I think time has come for us to punch above our weight and that's certainly my job just to convene um, as many people, organisations and businesses as we possibly can to shout about this amazing place. Well, I must admit, if you want to know the truth, and don't take this the wrong way, because a lot of people might feel the same way, it's a, li it's a little bit of a quango kind of thing going on. But what I really liked about it was the way that you explained, you know, that why Swindon and even over St David's, Bristol, Cardiff, Newport joined together. Can you just explain about the numbers for us, please, in GB? Because I think that was really important. So, look, and it was lost on me, sorry. Yeah, so Western Gateway stretches from Swindon all the way over to St David. So when you look at the economic evidence, we're what's called an economic geography. When you look at the travel to work patterns, you look at the way that businesses operate, it's a, it's a coherent place that makes sense in terms of people's lived experience. It's an economy of about £130 billion, pounds, which puts us on a par with countries like Estonia. It's about 5 million people. Um, so it's a good scale, and actually scale matters when you're competing on a global scale with other cities, city regions and regions in Europe and beyond. And so we think aggregating, bringing people together at that sort of scale is where investors in particular start to sit up and notice and they start to think about the place in a way that they might not if it was just one of the constituent bodies on its own. So, so we think scale matters when it comes to amplifying the opportunities that there are in the Western Gateway and that's why we convene at that scale to, to really make a difference. Now one of the other things you touched on today was the Great Railway deal. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain about that because that again was really interesting you know so can you so look, you know, won't have escaped anyone's attention that, that a lot of rail investment at the moment from the government is going into the Midlands and, and the North and great for them. Um, but actually we think that there's a really significant opportunity to join up the rail network in the Western Gateway far more effectively than it is at the moment. So we've been working over the last couple of years to develop a rail vision for 2050, which is about how do you get between our, our core areas more quickly, um, more, more, you know, better cost, better speeds, um, and so we've created an idealised vision for what that would look like, um, and we're now costing it up, and we're taking that to government to say, ten billion pounds of investment, which compares very favourably when you think about the levels of investment going into the Northern Powerhouse, into what was HS2. Um, we think for ten billion pounds, you could get phenomenal productivity gains um, if we can connect up our area far more effectively than, than we're able to do at the moment. So we'll be launching that up in Parliament later this year and also at our convention for the Western Gateway on the 5th of July at the ICC in Newport, which we hope will be a gathering of around 750 people to show to the UK and the Welsh governments what the great opportunities there are and how we're working in partnership to deliver them. Well, John, I'll definitely be there. It's a real pleasure okay. to meet you and you've definitely persuaded me. Thank you, thank you very much. Nice to meet you today. And by the way, I just want to say, you did that with no notes. And that's pretty impressive. <laughs> no thank you.